All right, in this video, we're gonna cover everything to do with requesting a quote from a trader or supplier during the estimate phase. We're gonna have a look at what the trade supplier sees, how you can help them reply and ensure this goes smoothly, how you can change or update on their behalf if you need to, and ultimately how you pick a winner and what then happens. So into my build exact account over here, first of all, the whole premise of quote requesting is as you're going through and doing an estimate, you might come up against something and you go, well, I'm gonna quote that out or the supplier's gonna quote on that. And you literally wanna give this line or lines to somebody else to quote for. Now, the way you do that is you tick on the left-hand side, the line or lines that you wanna send out. My two cents here is I try and keep in mind the, the amount of work that the person on the other end has to do and because of that, I typically don't, or I avoid sending, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 lines for them to quote on. I just want to keep the barrier to the, for them doing this as low as possible. So I usually go one, two, three max lines. Uh, that's just my opinion. But uh, you're basically going to grab those lines and go quote request down the bottom. And this then puts you into the process of giving this line to someone else to then price. For me, this is electrical. So what are we calling it? Punch in just a title. Keep it as simple as you can. When do I need it back by? So default is two weeks. Bit of a funny time of year being Christmas, New Year's. So I'm going to say a bit later on. And what are they quoting on? And next, I can then select documents from the document section in this estimate, or I can select plans, which I will do, or I can select actual takeoffs and share those with the trade or supplier as I need to. If I need as well, I can attach extra documents at this point. So totally up to you, kind of what you share and how you do it. The scope of work, this would be literally what I would be telling them if I was chatting on the phone. So. Yeah, please include perfect a little tip here as well if you're going to be using quote request a lot which I can't suggest you might be saving these presets is a great idea even people who like typing don't type if they don't have to so Saving these just means you can have preset text for the different trades you're gonna send these to. Next, who do you wanna send it to? Now, if you send it to multiple people, they don't know about each other anyway. So feel free to send it to a couple of people. And little tip here, you can actually add new contacts as you go. So if there's a new supplier, a new trade you're dealing with, feel free to add them via this button. And as probably covered elsewhere, when you do add a new contact, really key that you pick them as a contractor or a supplier so that later on in the purchasing phase, we know to give them the right terms and conditions. And when you connect to your accounting, we know where in your accounting system to put this person. Rule of thumb I've always gone with is if they supply only material, they're a supplier. As soon as they do any install at all, then I put them as a contractor. Uh, because I know that question comes up from people quite a lot. Invitation message, it's just thanks, see you soon, whatever you want, and send. And this line on the estimate kind of locks up because it's waiting for the price of this to come back from one, two, three people. While this is uh, bouncing around space and being sent, I'm going to go into quote requests, save it, and then go into quote requests. Just show you what we've got. So I've actually sent a window request off earlier, and I'll come to that in a second. But first of all, I've sent this to two people, and when the replies come back, it's going to jump into this section. So into my email, I'll just show you what I got sent. So we've 
indicated to the the trade the supplier uh, you know what to be what is to be done and we've given them one or two clear calls to action depending on who they are for the majority of people who are applying to this they're going to go via the provide quote option which is just a little portal that allows them to put their prices in and then come straight back to us for suppliers in particular they have the option as well to do this via a build exact account benefit benefit for them if they go this way is they can actually uh, really make the most of it and have a dedicated build exact account just for receiving requests like this they can do takeoffs they can have their own price lists in there they can do proper quotes uh, there's a lot of benefit actually for suppliers and hence that's why we've kind of split it this way back to my build exact account I'm going to go back into quote requests and show you what this would look like once they start coming back. So with my window ones, I'm going to use this as an example. I've got one that's been submitted by supplier one. And what I'm going to go through now is how to pick a winner, how to update these on the supplier's behalf, and also a couple of extra little tips and tricks. First, off the, uh, first thing to cover is as the quote request is being updated, opened, whatever it be, this will actually change from notified, which means it's been sent, to opened, which means they've opened the email link, to um, quoting or declined, which means they're yes or no as far as they're going to quote on it, to submitted, which means they've done it, and when it's submitted, there will be a price here. There's definitely going to be cases where trades and suppliers go, not really sure how to do this. Now, in the email they get, going back to that, for the supplier's case, there is a video walkthrough. However, for the trades, there isn't a video in this email. So if you ever get a trade come back to you and go, geez, I'm, I'm a bit stuck on this. We've got this article called how to reply to quote requests within the help section in, in Build Exact. And this is a great thing to be able to send them because this contains both how to do it in the portal, which is what the trades use, and also in Build Exact, which is what the suppliers use. Back into my Build Exact account, let's show you the example where, hey, this supplier, they didn't really do the right thing. In fact, they just called me and gave me the price. So I'm gonna go view, and Obviously no price has come back. What I can do in this case is I can actually update it for them. And if I do this and go submit it because they've officially given me a price, I can even upload attachments if they've sent them through. I can go save and close and this box pops up, giving me the option to notify the supplier that I've changed it for them or the trade. I personally recommend you do send them a confirmation. Reason being, we're trying to avoid any scenario where this person who's quoting for you can turn around and go, oh, geez, I didn't say that. Uh, and a way we can do this is by sending them a confirmation. So at least it's in writing and they know that we know and they know that we've confirmed it. So personally, I always do that. Once you want to pick a winner, you go chosen. And that just updates the pricing in your quote. It does not notify the person that they have won. Because right now, the quote that I'm working on, uh, it's, it's actually not, it's not going ahead. It's, it's, um, it's not being signed off as a contract. There is no job for these people to do. However, when the quote itself proceeds to accepted, this screen, so down the track, a little bit, this screen will change and allow me to accept the preferred suppliers, which then allows me to notify them. That said, it's a bit of a mixed bag of who goes this way versus who just opens the job and sends purchase orders straight away to the preferred suppliers. As always, any questions, let us know, but hopefully that's given you a really good insight into how you can get prices back and how you can make the, the process as smooth as possible. And yeah, anything else, let us know. Thanks a lot.